Hey guys, it's Rashid here from R&B Singing Lessons .com and Singing Pitch Trainer .com. Nice to see you. We're gonna listen to some Emotions by Maki. This is gonna be really nice. I'm excited to see this. Kind of a, looks like a raw kind of cover. He's just singing in. Well, he's, yeah, he's using the mic, not completely, completely raw. But yeah, it's gonna be exciting live, like really live. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Smooth. Oh man, that's gorgeous. Woo! It's a boss. I love his facial, his actions too, his body actions when he's doing it. Oh, oh I love that one. Ah, oh, that vibrato. That breathy falsetto is stunning. It sounds really emotional. Whew. Amazing. Nice. Oh my god, I love how he started low. Lovely. <laughs> Sing, damn it! <laughs> I know that feeling. When you're trying to get your friends to sing. Beautiful. So tight, man, those down runs. Ah, oh, falsetto. Beautiful. Oh, I wanted to hear that last rhyme. The crowd's too wild. But it's good that the crowd's wild. Uh oh, next video. That's what happens when you go in the watch later playlist. That was sick, man. That was so nice. Alright, let's run through some of my favorite bits. Yeah. Well done, Mackie. So amazing. I love that. And you got to do the spirit fingers as you do it. <laughs> the spirit fingers. You got to do the run, the run fingers. You got to draw it. 
You know, it's actually a teaching tool. It's not just copying how the artists do it, but it's it's like a visualization tool to draw as you do the notes you're doing. And you notice uh, Mariah Carey does it, Wanya Morris does it. A lot of really great artists will use their hands to draw the directions of the notes they're doing. But sometimes it's not the direction. Sometimes you're just drawing or uh, visualizing the rhythm. So it might be like, nah. it's like, da -da 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 -da. like that's the rhythm side of it. You know, da -da 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 that part. So it's, like, so it's like you're, you're not just doing the direction. You're even doing these micro rhythmic movements. It's a very powerful tool. I use it every day when I'm training my runs and my just my normal melodies as well. And I do get my students to use that as well. Potion. So tight. Beautiful descending run. Shun. Now speed man runs are all about speed this clarity that he gets when he changes notes it stands out and it's exciting and impressive because of how fast it is so that's why i just want to point it out it's not always about how long a run is it's just it's got to do with the notes you choose how it fits with the song and as well the speed that's what i'm like always impre really impressed about it's just those two things you know the notes you've chosen and the speed at which you execute it accurately in time and perfectly on the notes because that's the hardest thing to do yeah. Hello. Fall apart. Killing it. Nice, really creative there. No. Oh, I lost it. Now he starts. Good. I think he starts in falsetto. So it's a beautiful. Showing off his beautiful falsetto, that breath. Good night. He's got like a naturally huskier sound, kind of similar to my husky tone. It's beautiful when he goes into his falsetto. It's uh, This is him starting in his falsetto. Ready? Good. Good. Good night. See what it sounds like? And he adds vibrato in the end. Good night. Beautiful. Another one there. Killing it. That's why people are whooping, because it's whoop woo! Because it's special, something special about that. Pitch accuracy makes it sound really beautiful when you're really on pitch. When you're perfectly on pitch, it just sounds stunning. You can't, you can't help it, you know what I mean? It's really stable, comes in perfectly on the note. This is a super hard run because the chords change in this bit, in this song, and it's just very hard to actually, theoretically, the music side of it is a bit complex. And on top of that, he does a beautiful, like a nice bounce there, sort of repetitive bounce, beautiful. Hard to do fast, he kills it. So he shows off another incredible skill there, a quick bounce run. But before he does that, he blends up into it, which is what makes it sound really emotional. How he starts in his chest and he blends up into his falsetto. You are that. You are. As opposed to you. Like if you keep going up in chest. You. Sounds nice, eh? Yeah. You. That's the point at the of which the blends happen. You. Or it could be higher. You. And then the beautiful vibrato on the end. So, so much happening. Blend, run, bounce, run, hold, vibrato. So many elements is makes, it, makes it sound advanced. Oh, showing off those low notes. Killing it. And I love the com regular visualization of low notes is when a singer will drop their head down. Now, you're not obstructing your... You're not going like this. You're showing off your double chin. You're not going like that. You're going like that. You're like bending down. And I don't know why, but it helps. And that's why singers do it. It helps get the low notes. Is it a visualization technique? Could be. You know, you're acting it out with your body. But there's something about bending over. You see the bend over. It's at the hip, not at the 
this part because then you block off your <coughs> that's hard to do that you block off your airway you can't do that uh, so that's me doing the lower octave of what he's doing because he's a he's a boy still his voice hasn't it's not hasn't gone low yet like mine has else, else. I don't have the lowest <laughs> Yeah, so you can see there's a natural drop in. Ah, oh, you gotta go. He sounded so low there. That was so sick. I love that part of his voice. You gotta go. Ah, oh, so nice there. That those low notes. Don't normally hear him do that. That was really nice. Now this bit's really hard because he quickly goes up into his high voice. You gotta go find your shiny, shiny. And then he blends there. Really big blend jump to a big interval. That was super impressive. That run, man. PhD. PhD awarded. <laughs> Stunning. Again, the falsetto with the vibrato ending. Stunning. Beautiful. Again, the visualization, you see? Hands. This is a very natural performance environment. So all these things are coming out a lot more. It's not like when they're on camera and they're doing the multiple takes and for the music videos, this is a different format. Can you see when they're on stage? This is a very natural singing format, which is probably why I'm noticing all the, the body language stuff that I don't normally talk about that much. It's it's a more chilled vibe, you know what I mean? So, you get to see the singer as as they really would be most of the time when they're singing, when they're really just enjoying themselves. It's nice. Let me hear this. Something like that. Oh, I love that. <coughs> Be low on my falsetto. If you want the notes. Alright guys, I'm Rashad. Hope you enjoyed my reaction. If you guys want to learn more about me, get my courses, get my web app, support me, check all that stuff out, go to my website, singingpitchtrainer.com or rnbsingerlessons.com if you want to learn or inquire about lessons. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.